Okay, we're preparing the tip. Got to condition it. Okay. I roll it over. I put it in my fingers like that, just to make sure it's going through the gauze. Because this is how we're going to clean the tip and make sure it's working. We get a little smoke and it's going through. You get a little charring on the tip, and we are conditioned. That's what it looks like. Okay, and then we bend it to the angle we want. And that looks like it's in good shape for what we're going to do in the mouth. And we're at 3 watts, continuous wave, and that's it for now. Alright, uh, this is an area, number 7 mesial. This is John. We prepared the Easy Lays. We're going to treat this pocket here with the Annapolis Method using the Easy Lays. And you see where we have about 5 millimeter pockets, a little inflammation. And uh, we're going to take care of this today. Okay. The Aura Kicks that we uh, we use to anesthetize the area. We place it down to the depth of the pocket. Squirt a little of the anesthetic in. Over the top as well. And we let this sit for 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, we have our precautions. Notice I'm wearing a high filtration mask. Everybody in the room, including John, has these green glasses on. Uh, I have these with my little magnifying loops on, and normally I have a, a light, but the light would block off the video. Uh, remember also, for safety reasons, we have to have a high-speed suction, and we have to have a sign on the door so nobody else comes in. Yeah, oh. All right, John's a very sensitive guy. Jesus, hold it, stop it. All right, John's a very sensitive guy, so we're starting off at one watt continuous wave. And uh, let's see what happens. If it gets sensitive, now we're not getting any uh, action on the laser. So I'm going to boost it up a couple of uh, tenths of a watt. We're at 1.4 watts. Let's try that. Usually I work between 1 and 1.5 watts. All right. There we go. Start to get a little bit of the action. Hold it a second. Start up to oh, gauze again. Okay, back on here. All right, let's make sure we have some action here on the laser on the gauze. That seems to be okay. Let's try it again in the mouth. The object is to start off at the lowest power. There we go. You see, we're getting a little ablation now. You okay? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do now is we put it to the depth of the pocket, withdraw a millimeter, and we're going to work it around inside the pocket to move the epithelial lining with a little hemostasis and work our way out of the pocket back and forth. Some people like the sewing machine method, but I think that's very irregular and you're moving, uh, you're not removing all the epithelium as compared to this technique here. So I prefer, take this now, clean our points just by running the laser tip through the gauze. And then we're going to do the other side of the pocket. Put it through the depth of the pocket and withdraw. This is the 400 micron, 7 millimeter long tip. And you see how the diseased epithelial lining just little bunches up like a little ball at the end of the tip. And we have fairly good hemostasis as well. And I think he's comfortable. He's not jumping out of the chair. Okay, we just clean the tip, the dry gauze, run it through there. Now what I'm going to do is a little gingivectomy or plasty. Wipe away the excess. Okay, clean your tip again. That's better. All right, we're going to do our conventional ultrasonics now. Okay, and then we're going to use the hand scaler. And now we can use the silver section. And I'm looking as best as I can right down into the pocket. And it feels clean. Looks pretty clean. Okay. 
Now I'm going to use like a little mini file. Okay, so. Let's see what we got this is a back action mini file. As well. Great. Okay, and then we're going to put a little compression on the area for about a minute or two. Okay, this is periacryl or glue stitch. Put a few drops into the well, and then we're going to use a mini sponge and apply it with the mini sponge. Okay, show them how you <laughs> bend it, and then just tap it into the napkin dish. Okay, good. All right, we have one more step, and that's deepithelialization. Wrong pedal. Okay. It didn't work, so we got to do it over again. You are kidding. No, I'm kidding. It came up here. All right, this is just a little deepithelialization, about three to five millimeters away from the sulcus. This will delay the epithelial downburst. Just a little cauterization. Remove any little tissue tabs. And the surgical part is done. Shine the light onto the root for a little desensitization. Wipe away the excess. And that part's done. Isn't that nice? Okay. That's all. You can bite down a little bit on that. Good. Okay, what we're going to do now is apply the glue stitch. Just a few drops. I block the area so it doesn't run down his throat. Okay. And uh, just get up a little bit of the excess. Mary's going to dry it. And then we're going to hit it with a little water. Okay. I'm going to make sure it's not sticky. It's not. We don't want to glue his lip down. And then we have a small curette to uh, get up some of the excess. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, this part's done. Uh, and that's a little... Okay, ready? Yep. We're going to do one last thing. That's a little biostimulation in the area. Notice I took the tip off the end of the handpiece. And I'm going to shine the laser light on this area for 30 seconds. One watt continuous wave. Okay, we're on 30 seconds. Yeah, just for a little biostimulation to promote healing. And that should do it. Okay. Good engine.